Hi guys, so spring is just about upon us. Everything's starting to come back to life. So I thought I'd just show you a couple of the things that's going on here. This is where we're planting our um, chicken food garden. We're going to try and grow some of our own food. So we've got some peas going there. We've got in the background there some little sunflowers that are coming up quite nicely. And further back, which hasn't started coming up yet, is our amaranth. So this is going to provide a nice pop of color to our garden. And it's also going to feed our chickens. Okay, this is the first one of our blueberry bushes that are coming back to us. You can see it's starting to make little blooms and buds and everything. We have amended the soil again with some sulfur to get it nice and acidic. Um, the rest are starting, starting to bud, but this one is doing the best. I don't know if you can see there, whoopsie, our mulberry tree is starting to bud a little bit. Got to focus. We're starting to get a few little pops of green on there and a lot of the trees are doing that as well and then in the veggie garden the last few of our beets are growing we've got our spinach whoopsie daisy still from winter that's coming up nicely we had an absolutely brutal winter this year so my poor winter crops had a major knock you can see here there's some baby little clusters of spinach growing. Um, let me just jump through here. Let me. We've got our little onions starting to come up. Our cabbages didn't fare very well. I'm leaving them in the ground, hoping that they will do their thing during the course of winter. Oh, during the course of spring, should I say? Here is I'm probably our best looking cabbage. Um, our peach tree, well this is our nectarine tree actually, is again, I don't know if you can see there, let's try to focus you better, it's starting to come up with some little green pops and some buds. There, there you go. This is our one peach tree, you can see it's already starting to want to make flowers. Here's our other peach tree, also starting, I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can zoom in there a bit and get some of that pink for you. There you can just see the pink little tips on the buds that it's wanting to start flowering. And then on the animal side, most exciting. As I was saying, on the animal side, we have two mama hens with their little babies. So we've got lots and lots and lots of cheep, 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 cheep going around here. And then, super exciting as well, we've got a broody lady who's sitting on some eggs in there. Our hens have started laying beautifully. I actually picked up 17 eggs this morning, um, which was fabulous. We ordered from a friend of mine 17, they three week old chicks. So I've just actually got them in the brooder box here. You can see the lights not on, nothing like that. They're just hanging out here to calm down a little bit. Shame one of the dogs pulled their box off the table. Lucky we got there in time, but they're a bit freaked out. So they'll go into the coop probably next week. We have our incubator going with about a million quail eggs inside. I think they're about 60. So we're expecting in the next week, week and a half maybe. I think it's eight days from now. We're expecting lots and lots of baby quail at which point these chicks need to be out of my brooder box so we can quickly clean it out and the quails can go in. My strawberries are looking super strong and starting to make little flowers. 
So the race between us and the birds will be on pretty soon. No, I'm joking. I'm going to put some bird net up this year. I have learned. And then what else do we have? Oh, we have our um, little chili peppers, which we seed started. So we've got Carolina Reapers, Bird's Eye Chilies, Paprikas, Tabasco Chilies, um, Pepper Dews, and something else. Last but not least, I am delighted to announce that our raspberries, which I was really worried about this winter, all four of them survived. One, two, three, four. So we'll be putting up the rails and tracks for the raspberries pretty soon. And we'll keep you posted on our bountiful crops. Oh, I almost forgot to show you our garlic, which we are growing in our kitchen window, has started sprouting and making roots. So that'll be ready probably in about a week's time to be planted in the veggie garden. Guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to see how things go along in the veggie garden.